Hey everyone, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and we have had these two tools from Ryobi poolside and we've been checking them out for about the last three weeks. Now, we're indoors because we're in Michigan. Of course, it's raining in a high of 60 outside, but we wanted to go through these and say, hey, what was our experience with them? Do they work and who are they directed for? Maybe we can save you some time or maybe we can introduce you to the tool of your dreams. So first, let's start out with the Ryobi 18 volt underwater stick pool vacuum, model number P3500K. Now this is a $179 tool. It comes with a two amp hour battery and a touch connect charger. It's meant to connect up to any of your standard pool sticks that you might have that you'd use with either your skimmer or even a vacuum that you would use that would hook up to your normal pool filter. Simply has two plastic push pins here that slide into most of those sticks. Now, putting this underwater, you have to let all the air come up. So what I found was to just stick it straight down underwater, let the pump pull the air out of the system. Once the air is out of the system, you can start to use this guy as a vacuum. Now we used it from the beginning of the pool, when we just opened it, it was full of leaves, all the way up to just maintenance cleaning. So our normal cleaning in our pool is done with a little robotic guy. You put him in, he goes back and forth and cleans everything up. And you gotta clean out his filters probably two, three times. This unit is not really great at picking up leaves or anything larger. So if you're gonna do that, it's gonna take you a longer period of time than it would with a normal pool vacuum. This is a great touch-up cleaner in our purposes. You can go through, say, okay, the pool vac missed this section, this section, and this section, you can clean it up really quick. Or if you have company coming over and you're saying, hey, there's just a little bit in the pool that I gotta clean up, pull this guy out and go at it. So I wouldn't use this as my main cleaner. Now, if you did have a smaller pool, you could use it as your main cleaner. And when I say smaller pool, I'm talking about the little portable ones that you see set up in the backyards or kind of the PVC type tubing fences around them. But you have to be deep enough to submerge this unit completely underwater. If these vents up top are not underwater, you will not create a suction and you will not be able to use it. So we have a hot tub connected to our pool. I can use this at different angles inside the hot tub and around the bottom to get out any sand or any small leaves, debris, seeds that fall off the tree out of there with no issue as long as I keep it underneath water. So in that case for us, this unit works out excellent. I've had no issue with runtime. I've been using it with the two amp hour and the four amp hour battery. And for what I'm doing inside the pool and around, using it for 15, 20 minutes maximum, I've never had it run out of power. And I have had to take out the filter, clean it up, or take out the canister and remove it. Now, the canister is simple. Pull up on that lever till it clicks, slide forward and you can dump this out. You can see it's got some sand in it now. And there's a little green flapper up here that will hold the particles in when you remove it from the water. It's not perfect, but it works well. On the bottom, there are some rollers. So this is going to be safe for a linered pool or concrete pool, anything. And then there's some brushes here that just kind of help everything go together. If you look at this hole in the center, that's what you're sucking everything through. So large leaves or anything can kind of plug that hole up quickly, slow you down and not give you the best of suction. The filter simply slides right out. You can rinse it out under a hose or backwards or back flush it, anything like that. It's very easy to use, easy to put together, take apart. The battery that's in the back is sealed in and there's two small push buttons that you push that allows the clips to come undone and this battery compartment to open. I've not seen any water in here. There is a rubber seal around this. I would make sure that that rubber seal is always intact. And when I close this unit up, I would make sure that everything is nice and tight because we have a saltwater pool and that is a big issue with batteries. You don't want anything corrosive inside these batteries. It can cause a lot of problems. Now, the next thing that we've been using, and we've been using this quite a bit, it's the Ryobi 18 volt floating Bluetooth speaker, and they say it has a light show with it. Most of the time, our kids are throwing this in the water, 
and they love it. They can Bluetooth their phones to it. They can Bluetooth just about anything to it simply just by turning the button on, pairing up with it. It's got some volume controls on the top. This is not overly loud. You're not going to fill your whole yard with sound, but while the kids are playing in the pool, this thing can be rocking around and it'll give them plenty of sound to entertain themselves without disturbing the neighbors. Now the light show on here changes with your music. So basically when you throw it in the pool, it's just going to be a blue light on the bottom. Once you pair to it, it'll change to reds and greens and different colors and sort of move with your music. That cannot happen unless you're paired as far as I have found. I've not found a way to get it to just move the lights around randomly without music going. Now with this, you can take this and take it right underwater. We've thrown it in our pool. It's been submerged completely. We've had no issues. There are four locks on this. And this one is a little bit more difficult to get into than the vacuum. Not much, but it seems sealed really well. Again, the rubber seals around here. Drop your battery in. On the bottom here, there is a place for these LED lights that are around this rim to shine away and do their thing. Now, we can only see the LED lights at night. And at night, they are very cool. This is definitely something that the kids have loved to have around at night. But during the daytime, you don't even know the LED lights are going. You can't see them, even if you get close. So if you're looking for something to float around in the pool during the day for music, during the night for a little bit of cool light, it works even in the deep end, has a great little light show at night. Awesome, small little unit that will work in like again we have a saltwater pool this has been drugged down to the bottom of the pool 12 feet no issues with water inside it seems to work really well and i really like how it's constructed and put together the one problem that we have with this unit particularly or probably anything that would float in the pool if left alone this this unit will float over to the skimmer it'll box up the skimmer a little bit just enough that water won't get through and we'll start sucking air. So if you throw this in your pool, it would be nice to tether it to something or make sure you're out there to so it doesn't just float into where the skimmer is. All of a sudden you're sucking air through your pumps. Not a good situation. So other than that, that is not this tool's fault. I think that's just a general thing that happens with most pools with a skimmer. It is what it is. We have only had a pool for three years. So if you look at this, this is me still learning a little bit about a pool and my experience with these. So, 79 bucks for the speaker, $179 for the vacuum with a charger and with a small two amp hour battery. If it's something that'll help you out with your pool, that's great. If you're looking at this stuff as, hey, this is gonna you know, blast music throughout my whole backyard and give me some great bass, nope. If you want it to just you know, give the kids some nice music, it will definitely work. If this is gonna be your main pool vac for a very large pool, probably not, but it'll be a great pool vac for supplementary cleaning or if you have a small pool, as long as you can keep the whole thing submerged. So again, I'm Brian from Workshop Addict. I appreciate your time watching this video. If you could give us a like and subscribe to our channel and also follow us on social media at Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. As always, we thank you for your time. Have a great day.